Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we are going to be making a airsoft shotgun pistol. So what we're going to be using in today's video is an old airsoft gun. I have a metal one here, which is obviously much stronger than plastic. Um, I have a tube for the barrel. I have an old shotgun shell that's emptied with just a primer. And of course, the wadding that comes in the shotgun shell. I have all these spare... Federal shot shell primers, just a little piece that goes in the end, some airsoft BBs, and some brackets and a tube for the handle. So the first step, once you have found the proper size tube, which allows you to slide the shotgun shell into the tube but not the lip the whole way through, you have to modify the cap gun so that the barrel will fit against the original firing pin I guess you could call it just like this but I'm gonna still use the hinge mechanism so I'm gonna probably use a grinder and cut it until that sits right about there so here we go grinding it down I've got this little Makita grinder with a cutoff wheel let's go ahead and rip it off So as you can see, I've cut off the first half, but I need to go a little more just because the barrel isn't quite centered yet. As you can see, it's a little high, so I'm just going to shave off a little more and then go ahead and attach the barrel. Alright, so as you can see, I've ground down enough material right here so that the barrel lines up perfectly with the firing pin. And then I've mocked up my handle, bracket, and then I'm going to go ahead and mark a few more inches for the end of the barrel right there. And then going to go ahead and cut it. So there we have the barrel cut down. And now all you have to do is attach the barrel to the gun, the bracket to the barrel, and the handle to the bracket. So to do that, I'm going to be using a automotive hose clamp right there. Some zip ties for the bracket and handle because they don't require too much support. Then I'm going to make it all pretty with a little bit of electrical tape. So there's the gun all fully assembled. As you can see, I have the handle just because the original locking mechanism on this cap gun broke and of course we cut it off. So when you hold it back, you can use both the handles to secure it all together. Now, of course, the last step is to load our shot shell. As you can see, this one already has a primer. If it doesn't, you can just refill it with one of these many primers. Hundred of them I got for like a few dollars. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the wadding in followed by a handful of BBs as it is of course an airsoft shotgun and then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of tape or saran wrap over top to prevent them all from falling out alright everyone so here we go with the shooting test I've got my gun and a shotgun shell loaded up with the saran wrap now on the top of it and some tape to hold it in place so I'm going to be wearing gloves just because um, primers are quite strong, they're obviously not like full gunpowder loads, but they aren't weak either by any means. So as you can see, I just pushed in the shotgun shell with my hand, nice and snug fit and doesn't recede too much. And then if I pull back the primer, or sorry the hammer I should say, you can just see that gold little cap right there, which means it's nice and aligned. So I'm going to go ahead and put on my other glove, push in the shell all the way so that it should explode might not go on the first try but I'll keep trying till it does um, but yeah we're gonna be shooting this apple carton right here nice and up close because after all it is a shotgun pistol so we can't expect too too much power from it shooting the shotgun pistol make sure it's aligned yep we look good in three I'll back up a little bit just in case three two one Alright, so trigger's not strong enough to hit the primer, so I'm going to manually do the hammer by hand. Make sure it's lined up again. Yep, looks pretty good to me. Firing test two in three, two, one. Alright. Still not quite strong enough, might have to add an elastic. So just because this cap gun is a little old and tired, I've added an elastic around the hammer to the front of the support barrel. Um, anyway, so that should add us enough force. If it's not, I'm just going to keep on adding elastics until it is. This 
is of course the development phase. So I uh, thought I would show you guys that instead of just erasing the clip, which I hope you guys appreciate. All right, so here we go with the third shooting test, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and straight just use the hammer for maximum force and hopefully a good explosion. So here we go, firing in three, two, one. That worked very well. Let's go ahead and check out the damage. So here's the juice container that I picked up from about 10 meters that way. It went very far. Uh, basically, since I did such an up-close shooting test, it didn't have time to spread as it usually would as a shotgun. So it almost acted like a slug and just ripped through this container. Just because it works so much better than I thought, I might go ahead and try my best to load up another shotgun shell and do one more shooting test that's something a little stronger. All right, so here we go with the second shooting test. I set up a two and a half, or sorry, one and a half to two inch piece of foam over there in the grass. We're gonna be shooting it from around six feet away over there. I reloaded the same shotgun shell with a new primer, about 30 BBs, and some saran wrap for the wadding since I lost the stock one in the bushes over there. So let's go ahead with the shooting test. I'm gonna put my gloves back on for safety. Reloaded the shot shell and everything, about five, six feet away. Firing in three, two, one. Nice shot. Let's go take a look at the damage. So here's the damage. This was clean before. As you can see, even from that far away, we got a lot of BBs on this foam. And it is actually very hard foam. I can't even poke my finger into it that much. So there's the final damage report from the shotgun pistol from a cap gun. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit that subscribe button and the like as well. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.